Good morning, boss. Good morning. That's her first sip of coffee this morning. I didn't get her coffee. The coffee, the Keurig stopped working. What is... And Chase had to go to the doctor's because he's got poison ivy on him. Yeah. And the boss was calling me up. Can you scrounge up change? He forgot the debit card. He said, you didn't give me the debit card. I said, yes, I did give you the debit card. You know where I found it? Out in the driveway. So I did not have my coffee until 10 o'clock. So she started like punching me in the side and beating me up. Not. She's like, I need coffee now. You're full of I'm it. I'm in a grumpy mood. I, I am I am, in a I am sad mood. today. And if you don't get me coffee I'm not responsible for what I say before I have my coffee. So I'm sorry. Okay, so we are in a rush against time to get as many mode I mean it's not that that crazy. I mean things will take a little while to grow after we get all this rain. Carl's in a rush. The lawns really are not that long, but I understand why you want to get ahead of it. I want to nip the tops off the lawns before all I this rain like comes. <laughs> so it's it, <laughs> yesterday you guys seen we, we got point one four so almost two tenths of an inch, which wasn't much at all. Just tease the grass but yeah starting this afternoon we're supposed to rain all the way until next thursday apparently the news must be saying that we're about to get a bunch because my dad already texted us this morning so. yeah we're <laughs> it's like you said this is the, the last few years have been extremes mm -hmm. we had the drought little mini drought we just had before that it was pouring down rain the boss is jamming out she got her coffee now um, and then now we're about to get an extreme amount of rain again. So it's all right. You just go with the flow. I'll show you before this one because I recorded her. It's interesting to see how different people's views are, though. Like in yeah. Washington, they're like extremely wet all the time. So they'd rather have a little bit of a drought. So farm girl said, yeah, she'd rather have a little bit of a drought. So. so what we're trying to do, if you notice, we're trying to incorporate some questions for you guys in our in some of our videos. So once in a while, listen out for them. When we come up with a question, we'll answer the question later in the video. And then you guys give us your opinion. Yeah. Just so we can figure out what everybody else is doing around the country we're a community yeah so we learn let's from all each get other. involved and help each other out sounds like a plan okay so here's the first one of the day as you guys can see it didn't really grow much and you can see see the stress over there in the lawn from the not having rain but i think it greened up a little bit from the little we got yesterday number one done we put angles she put angles in it this way and then this is the front you can see not much to cut here so, off to the next one. So this is number two. This is a weekly account, um, but it's 13 days today. As you can see, it didn't grow much. And I don't even think the groundhogs can, or the moles. Is there any moles? Yeah, a couple little moles again. So we finished this one. What do you guys do? That's the question of the day. Do you move up things and trampolines, or are you just weeding around? stake down I might move it but not going to do it. If the trampoline stake down I don't move it. So there's the boss's stripe. She finished this. Um, off to number three. No brain yet. Okay boss. Yes. If you notice there's drops on my glasses. Water drops. Can, can you guess where that came from? It's not from the rain. We didn't get rain yet. No. So I was going about my business doing the yard like you told me to mm -hmm. and I was weed eating 4,000 items every day I must not seen a pile of crap so I hit it and a big chunk stuck to my chin right here <laughs> no. yes I wasn't gonna record why that didn't because, you record because that be, it would have gone viral because that's nasty man that's nasty I that just, is so I disgusting. just felt it sitting down here Ew. and I didn't touch it Ew, I, I hurried up and went over to the hose turned no, it on and it was like it's nasty, so man. Gross. That is nasty. So how many of you guys have ever done that? Oh my gosh, that's so gross. That's, that's why funny. we need to put the boss on weed eater duty again. No way. So she can see what it feels like I to have dog poop hit you in your face. I thought you were going to tell me that you like splashed up the stuff from the pool that they had back there. Or the, you know what I mean? No, so. it was dog poop. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Why, how did you not see 
because I was in a rhythm. And then when I felt the big wet glob hit me, I knew the grass <laughs> wasn't wet. So. But the grass is a little wet because we got rain. No. No. Um, we're on number three. This is mm -hmm. the last time we're mowing this one. Only because we were just doing it while they went on vacation. And they're back now, so they just want us to mow it one more time. Mm -hmm. Well, they're fertilizer. Yeah, account. we fertilize them and do all the weed control in it. So. Right. So he just asked us if we could put them on for the month of May. Yeah. <laughs> so the rain hasn't come. We're going to go get another one done after this. So um, I think we might be able to get like 10 in today, boss, before the rain comes. Yeah, we'll see. I think. Watch out for that um, wooden bear in the backyard. It might I attack know. you. The wooden bear and the white squirrels. <laughs> so this is number three, guys. So number three done. Looks nice. Hydro seeding the first spent 1200 to hydro seed the whole yard and none of it took. He wasn't very happy so he contacted us and now you got grass. So you guys know this one. We're doing this one here. It was a one time mow but now it's become a weekly thing, right? Yeah. Oh, I think I just seen something pop up. Rain alert. Uh oh. We rain alert. Rain thing. alert. You better get on that beast and fly around this yard. So we're finished number four for the day. And as you can see, it's coming. I so I wanted to do something. We're, we're going to go and try to go back out and do some work. Yeah, we'll see. The rain stopped. We we'll see that. what we can do. But, boss, what kind of shoes did you buy? Oh, so... so let me turn this around real quick. So I ended up getting Merrill's. I tried the Keens on, and um, they weren't comfortable to me. And then I also tried another brand on, right? Yeah, and Columbia I or something, right? Columbia, yeah. And I really did not like them. And then when I put these on, like, the support is awesome. I'm loving them so far. Um, my feet were actually hurting. Let me show you the bottom. Yeah, they were hurting pretty bad. She was complaining every night. Every, every night and every morning when I was going to put on my shoes. Because I was just wearing, like you know converse like just regular sneakers yeah. so for a while that's fine but when you're doing multiple multiple miles a day the tread wears out really fast and these are hiking and up and down the hills and yeah. i know and we know these they're are not hiking shoes and right we, they're not yeah. even boots rachel has a problem <laughs> no, i do i have to show you guys my tractor supply haul we came in here just to get duck or chicken food and I don't know, they had clearance plans. Whenever there's clearance plans, I get in trouble. So, look at this. Oak Leaf Ruby Slippers Hydrangea. It was originally, let me see. Originally $5.99, oh duh, it says it right there. I paid $2.39 for it. So she got all kinds of stuff. So I got apple trees, golden delicious apple trees. Raspberry bushes, food. blueberry bushes, yeah. like 10 of them. Yeah, so. I'm excited. Okay. So. And look, look what Carl sneaks in the car. I don't think that this is a business expense, buddy. It is now. I just have to show you something over here. We don't, we're having a low supply on double ground oak. And the problem is we need 20 yards, so we're gonna maybe go with double ground pine for this mulch job we gotta do next week. So that's the double ground oak that we usually use. When they get it from the mill, it looks like this. So after they turn the pile, it ends up aging to look like that to be able to sell. So they don't have any. We're gonna have to hopefully use a different product, but I didn't know if you guys knew that, that a lot of the materials come in a different color at the, this mulch yard anyway and as they turn it it ages and gets darker it's hard to believe that's double ground oak and then it ends up like this so i just wanted to show you guys so guys she did not let me go home she said the sun came out so we gotta keep mowing we came back out we have to do errands anyway yeah, so. so we're going to do these three. One, I'm going to weed eat the side of a hill again. But I'll let you know how my new shoes worked out. Yeah. And what kind did I get? You got Keens. I got Keens. Yeah. So we'll see if they work out good. 
And you like yours so far, right? Yeah, and I got Meryl's. So I just noticed my choke on this is not the way it's supposed to be. Hopefully if I try to bend this back, it doesn't break off. That stinks, man. Oh look, we got 807 hours. So, I don't know if that's gonna affect how it's running. That might be in chokes. Today. So Rachel's mowing this. I read you and everything. And I don't have my tripod to record me doing this, but I gotta weed eat that side, the back here, and the other side. So let me get that done and I'll show you right after. Hey boss, so we're on number eight today. We, th we thought we were gonna get washed out. Yeah. See, that's how crazy the weather is in the mountains. This morning it was an 80% chance. Yesterday we had like a 60% chance and we got a couple showers, but we're only at two tenths of an inch so far in two days. Mm -hmm. So I would officially say we're still without rain for 25 days because two tenths of an inch ain't gonna do nothing. No. It'll dry up the time it hits the ground. But we're on number eight. So now tomorrow we might get washed out though, boss. Yeah. Look at the boss down there laying stripes. See when the grass comes in and it's nice. This short, even though it's a lot of weeds, it's quite nice. This is a hill. I mean, I've seen hills, but this is a hill. So you guys see, we finished that one. That was number eight. I'm not sure. Are we going to do more? I don't know. Well, what do you want to do? Well, we still have a couple more errands to run, but what do you think? I don't know. Well, that's up to you. Well, you guys seen I recorded that. I wanted to show you if you guys run on hills and stuff why we actually like this ferris too mm -hmm. and the articulating arms in the front make a big difference if you haven't demoed one and rode it for a little while there's a big difference it uh, i don't know i thought i seen somebody saying that it doesn't matter if you hit dips and holes um it certainly matters we we rarely and i mean maybe have scalped one part and that was it in all the yards we've mowed in i am by no means an expert I just started mowing full time last season, so I was saying I really think that the Ferris is a very easy machine to learn and to get to learn how to mow with because it has that articulating deck which cuts out the fact that you could scalp lawns. It's a 61 inch mower and we're being honest, you know us if you've been watching us for a while. We'll tell you how yes, it is. Yes, we are not sponsored by Ferris whatsoever. And them articulating arms make a big difference. If you've seen her going up the hill, I think it helps even going up steep hills. Mm -hmm. I've seen other mowers um, when you're coming up, even with bigger people on them, the whole front end pops up. And, you and I'm little. I don't have to lay over top of it to keep it down. No, it stays down. It's I mean, a, it's it a good stays mower down. It hills. hugs me. It makes me feel safe. Um, and then the other thing that I think is a plus, which I, Carl thinks that the 36 is like this too, but I'm not so sure. But if you guys notice, um, when you're turning, both wheels still keep spinning, which I think that helps, you know, if you if don't you just know push, how to If mow, you just push one bar, the other wheel still spins slowly. Yeah, but if you don't know how to mow, that is when you tear up lawns, yes. is when you're turning. 
And I think that that cuts down on the fact of tearing up lawns because that other wheel still keeps moving yeah, as I'm Yeah, it moves turning. very slow. And we learned that from somebody on, somebody commented saying that the back wheel turns, right? Remember? Yeah, when we first got it, When we right? first got mm -hmm. it a while back, so. Yeah. And like you've seen, it doesn't flip up on hills. So I'll Great try to take, machine. I'll try to take it up on an even steeper hill. I mean, there's a hill that I take it up that's like this. The boss won't do it. It's a little hill, but it is straight up and that thing climbs it without tearing it up. Mm -hmm. So we'll have to take it on there one day and show you. Yeah. But not right. sure what we're going to do. So we'll see. Yeah. Do you guys see that? Carl was about to back up and leave. Oh, but look what he left on the side of the road. Nice job, buddy. And he's checking his boo-boo. We're done for the day? We're done for the day. We did eight. We didn't get rained out, though. No, we didn't get rained out. But it's still 6.30. I'll probably go back out and do some stuff in the garden. if it's After I get cleaned up and everything, I have more poles. The boss bought me to stake up my cucumbers. Mm -hmm. So, and some organic fertilizer to put down. Yeah. To make them grow big and healthy, right? And we have some trees. And we have a plant. lot of plants to plant in <laughs> pots now, boss. Thanks, like we don't have enough plants in pots. Seedless grapes. I mean, how can you pass up seedless grapes? And, we're, and oak leaf hydrangeas for $2.49. I mean, come on. We're going to put them all in pots because we plan on moving hopefully next year to yeah. our own house. Hopefully. So hopefully we'll see how that goes. Yeah. So thanks for watching guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And remember, be happy. Or at least try. Have a good I'm just going to show you how the plants are doing tonight because we're going to lose light. And what I want to do is I'm going to put more T-posts up in the middle of the wires there because I'll take you over there real quick. I thought it would work by just hanging this wire, but the problem is the middle sags. So I want to bring my cucumbers up more like this so they're not sagging as much but you know they might work because I prune these if you notice I cleaned off the whole bottoms and they actually look better today from the rain I have to get these up still uh, garden work is so much but it's very I enjoy it very much especially when you come out here let me show you guys hopefully I'm not moving too fast and you see this Sam, perfect. I have them. We have, let me show you over here. There's all kinds of squash everywhere. And I think when we went to the mulch yard you seen today, I was talking to a lady who said she grows a garden, a big garden every year. And she said that um, she waters like every day, especially in drought. And I've been under watering. I thought there was zucchini over here somewhere. I thought there was. Oh yeah, look guys, see it? So we have zucchini, we have our peppers, we're getting flowers on our eggplants. So this is a quick tour of the garden for the end of the video. That way I can show you guys. It's amazing how much this stuff grows in a week. If you look, if you watch our videos and see, here's our fig tree. It's coming back nicely. But uh, here, look, these are, sweet million cherries so they grow millions of cherries on them really small ones and if you noticed in the video you seen earlier i was pruning up these tomato plants i prune them up as they climb up the stalk we have corn and we still have a lot more of the plant the bosses or rachel loves these cabbages but uh let's see these plants that i planted the other day they look like they're starting to do better i put more peppers in here um, peppers over here, a lot of hot peppers, jalapenos, bananas. Let me check on my green beans. And my green beans are doing good. I want to spray all this with a neem oil to keep bugs off. Um, the girls haven't done any more on their butterfly garden or berry garden yet. So they're going to have to get out here and start. And then here's our giant cabbages. Look how big this cabbage is. Let me show you. Here's my foot. It's a size 12. That's perspective how big it is so far. Carrots and beets. So I'm going to get some more work done. Um, and like we said earlier, 
Guys, thanks for subscribing. And we already did the ending earlier in the video if you watched this far. Um, we really appreciate everybody who subscribes to us and everybody who comments. I try my hardest to get to every comment, at least to say thanks for watching. But um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. And we're almost at 5,000 subscribers. And just look at the garden there. It's beautiful and it's not even halfway done. We have to put pumpkins. Well, let me see. This way. Okay, we have to put pumpkins back here. And then we're going that way with the garden. All the way that way. We have so many tomatoes and stuff to plant. Um, so we'll take you on our journey. Just keep watching. Thanks.